please take your seats, sit back, relax, and most importantly, silence your cell phones. Welcome family and friends to Imagine 2013. Won't you join us on an adventure through enchanted lands, where heroes will embark on a quest to understand. It is a story as old as time, yet as new as a butterfly from its cocoon. Speaking of butterflies, I think we may see a flock of very soon. But in this 
story, there is a swimming school and a wise forest and dancing triangles. Oh, <laughs> and there is a clever little wolf named Wolfie the Wolf. Say hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. Okay, I'm out of here. Great story, Elderberry, but I gotta get back to ZSK7. Come on, guys, we can only awaken the sleeping goddess, defeat the mega monster, and free the prince. We all work together. So, Elderberry, the storyteller, rose to her feet and left our heroes behind to their boots and their boots. On and on, the children played with a boot and a lark, unaware that the weather outside had turned dark. For a strange cloud had blown in, like the wrath of Poseidon, and with lightning and thunder, the power went dim. talking to? Why, that's the narrator, of course. Uh, of course. Now, where were we? Our heroes were about to embark upon the quest of Rainbow Mountain. Got it. You must first journey through seven worlds, which we here call domains. But before you may leave one world, you must give it a name. The name is the key which will allow you to pass through the gate. Gain all seven keys and you have earned your fate. This sounds like a blast. But beware of the great distractor who prowls these lands, for if you stare at it too long, it will snare you where you stand. Well, that sounds like a drag. Okay, we got it. Get the keys, go through the maze, just like that corny old game Dad likes, Legends of Zelda. Now come on, I have my own game to get back to. Get on with it, you shall. But first you need the magic word to begin your quest. What? You didn't say anything about a magic word. Any ideas? Wolfie told you the magic word was to imagine. And that it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first stone age.
Sound Heroes. First key, please. Okay. Okay. When in doubt, brainstorm. Just say what you saw. Uh, I saw grace. I saw strength. Well, they saw spatial awareness. <laughs> by Aidan Delaney. Look at me swaying, with my leaves swaying with me. Leaves play like you too. Leaves by Mira Kennedy. Leaves are on trees. Leaves help trees breathe. But in fall, the leaves fall. Nature by Pia Kleiner. Nature by Pia Kleiner. Look at the tree sway. Touch the tree, it feels like moss. Trees are good to you. Trees. A haiku by Griffin Gibson. The flowering tree. Swaying outside my window. Making me happy. Friends by Marley Dix. Water swished around a tree very, very gracefully. Then the water said goodbye. The moon sang a lullaby. The moon in the tree made a reflection. It took a lot of concentration. Trees by Cain Cross, uh, towering tall above us, re reaching far above, enormous compared to human. Expanding and non-spanding, swaying in the wind. Acorns by Noah Anderson. The brown acorn fell. It fell in my big backyard. A small sprout grew up. Beautiful Trees by Addie Tullock. Trees grow gracefully, dancing beautifully. Greedy squirrels eating nuts in the trees. Leaves fall down on top of me. Branches swaying, swooping down, singing songs for the town. Let the magical unicorn 
unicorn guy to you? Really? A magical unicorn? What self-respecting self quest of Rainbow Fountain would be complete without one? Oh, you
the next domain can be a bit tricky. Let the magical unicorn guide you. We're off to see the wizard! <laughs>
soccer practice by four. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the next domain.
I thought it was. Take me home tonight.
Thank <laughs> you.